Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve part 8 from question number 1, exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the example problems, exercises 3.1, 3.2 and 3.4 video. The last part of question number 1, that is part 8 from exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, solve the following pairs of equation by reducing them to a pair of linear equations. So these are the two equations given where we have to first reduce them to a pair of linear equation. The general form of a linear equation is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Here you can observe that the variables x and y are both in the numerator. The coefficients a1, b1, a2, b2, c1, c2 can be in the denominator as well. It can be a fraction but always the variables has to be in the numerator. But in the given equations here you can observe the variables x and y are in denominators. So first we have to make sure that these variables are in the numerator. So therefore we let us bring them in the numerator and reduce them to the general form of linear equations. So this question is very much similar to a previous part 7 from the same question. The only difference is here even the coefficients are in the denominator. Here you can notice in both the equation we have 3x plus y and 3x plus y and 3x minus y and 3x minus y as the variable term. So let us first substitute this 1 by 3x plus y equal to some other variable like p and let us substitute here 1 by 3x minus y as equal to q and then we can reduce them to a general form of linear equations. So let us take this as equation 1 and let this be equation number 2. So let us first assume let 1 by 3x plus y equal to p and 1 by 3x minus y equal to q. Okay, so let us substitute this in given equations 1 and 2. So substituting in equation 1, here we have 1 by 3x plus y. So 1 by 3x plus y will be equal to p plus 1 by 3x minus y. So 1 by 3x minus y is q equal to 3 by 4. Let us take this as equation number 3. Here we have 1 by 2 into 1 by 3x plus y, right? So this equation 2 can be split up as 1 by 2 into 1 by 3x plus y minus 1 by 2 into 3x minus y equal to minus 1 by 8 right so this 1 by 2 we will write separately first in 2 we have 1 by 3x plus y which can be substituted equal to p minus again we have 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into 1 by 3x minus y which can be written as q equal to minus 1 by 8 here in this equation we have two common denominator for both the variables so let us take denominator common as 2 in the numerator we will have p minus q equal to minus 1 by 8. So, so let us send this 2 to right hand side so it comes in the numerator on the right hand side. So we get p minus q is equal to minus 1 by 8 into 2. So we cancel 2 1 times to 4 times. So therefore we will get the equation as p minus q equal to minus 1 by 4. So let us take this as equation number 4. Here taking the denominator common and sending it to right hand side so that the equation comes in the simplest form as equation 3. Here you can observe equation 3 and 4 have been reduced to general form of a pair of linear equations where variables p and q are both in the numerator. Now let us apply elimination method to equation 3 and 4 and find out p and q value apply elimination method to equations 3 and 4. So applying the elimination method to equation 3 and 4 let us write down the equation 3 which is p plus q equal to 3 by 4 and from equation 4 we have p minus q equal to minus 1 by 4. So if you observe the coefficient of q is 1 in both the equation and also the signs are plus and minus. So directly we can eliminate this term q. 
So we will be left with plus p and plus p will add up to become plus 2p equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 we have. Okay, we will write down in this manner and then we will simplify. Here you can observe that the denominators are same. So we will take the common denominator that is 2p equal to 4 and 3 minus 1. So how much 3 minus 1 is? 2 by 4. So cancelling 2 1 times 2, 2 times. So we get 2p is equal to 1 by 2. Send this 2 to right hand side again. We get p is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Again this 2 comes in the denominator. So 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 will become 1 into 1 is 1. 2 into 2 is 4. So therefore we got p value as equal to 1 by 4. Now let us substitute this p value in either equation 1 or 4 and then we will find out the q value. Write down substitute p equal to 1 by 4 in equation 3. Okay, equation 3 is given by p plus q equal to 3 by 4. Here p is value is 1 by 4 plus q equal to 3 by 4. So sending this 1 by 4 to right hand side, we get q as equal to 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4. Again, we have the common denominator here. So we take 4 as a common denominator. Again, 3 minus 1. What is 3 minus 1? It is 2 by 4. Cancelling 2 1 times 2, 2 times. So therefore, we got q as equal to 1 by. Initially, we had assumed p and q values where we had taken p as equal to 1 by 3x plus y and now we obtain the p value as equal to 1 by 4. So let us equate these two terms. So we get 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 3x plus y cross multiplying we get 3x plus y into 1 is 3x plus y equal to 4 into 1 is so let us take this as equation number 5. Again, what we had taken the q value as? q we had taken as equal to 1 by 3x minus y and here we obtain q as equal to 1 by 2. So equating both the values of q, we get 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 3x minus y. So cross multiplying we get 3x minus y as equal to 2 into 1 is 2. So let us mark this as equation number 6 again. Now again we will apply elimination method to equation 5 and 6 and find out the x and y value. Apply elimination method to equations 5 and 6. So equation 5 is given by 3x plus y equal to 4 and equation 6 is given by 3x minus y equal to 2. Right here the coefficient of y variable is 1 and also the signs are plus and minus. Even the coefficient of x variable is equal that is 3 but here we have to change the sign for the second equation to apply the elimination method. So we will apply elimination method to y variable since already the signs are plus and minus. So cancelling y variable here we have plus 3x and plus 3x which will add up to become plus 6x equal to again we have plus 4 and plus 2 which will add up to become 6. So we got 6x equal to 6 or x equal to 6 by 6. So cancelling we get x as equal to 1. Now substitute this x equal to 1 in equation 5 or 6 and find out the y value. You can write here substitute x equal to 1 in equation 5. Equation 5 we have 3x plus y equal to 4. So 3 into x is 1 plus y equal to 4. So 3 into 1 is 3. Sending this 3 to right hand side we get 3 plus y equal to 4. So sending this 3 to right hand side we get y is equal to 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is again y is equal to 1. Okay, so we got here the value x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 which is the solution for the given pair of equations. So therefore you can write x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is the solution for given equations. So this is how we solve this problem. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. 
In my next video, I'll be solving part 1 from question number 2, exercise 3.6, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC and SART Math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 3, pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.